Hello and welcome. Today we're doing a question from Leet Code called Subsets. It's a medium. Let's get started. Given a set of distinct integers nums, return all possible subsets, or the power set. Note the solution set must not contain duplicate subsets. Example, given the input nums equals 1, 2, 3, output 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, 1, 2, and the empty subset. So we want to return all the subsets of size 1, 2, 3, and 0. Now let's think about this intuitively. What are we trying to do? We want to return all combinations of all the numbers in all possible subset sizes. And we don't have to really worry about duplicate subsets since we're dealing with a distinct set of integers. Now let's start with looking at the easiest non-trivial example. Of course, given the empty set nums, we would just return a set of the empty subset. But if nums was equal to just one, what would our output be? We would output a set of the empty set and just one. And if nums was equal to one and two, well, now what would we output? Well, first, we would return all the subset size zero, so just the empty set, then one, so one and two, and finally, size two, so that would just be one and two. What do we notice with the addition of two? We not only have the empty subset and one from last time, but now we also have two and one and two. So we go from two subsets to now four. And if nums equaled one, two, three, what is our output now? Well, we can see that we include the empty subset one, two, and one and two. But on top of that, we also include just three, one and three, comma, two and three, and one and two and three. And this is all in addition to the output from before. Now, what do you notice each time we add a new number to our input nums? We're essentially doubling our output list. We go from two to four to now eight. And what's happening with this doubling, right? So each time we are adding this new number, we double in parallel to what we had before. There's some sort of similarity to what we read before to how it's being doubled. Now let's just take a step back and think about a power set, what it means for each individual number. For each number, it can either be included in any given subset or not included. There are only two options. So for this new number that I'm adding, I will either have subsets that include this new number or subsets that don't. And this is where the doubling comes in. Each time I'm looking at a new number, I'm keeping the original subsets I had that didn't include this number. So the empty set, one, two, and one and two. But now I'm adding in another set of subsets equivalent in length to the original subsets. So I had four before, but I'm adding four more. But now they all include this three. And we can see we had the empty set one, two, one, and two. But now if I want to add the three, what do I get? The empty set plus three equals three. One plus three equals one and three. Two and three equals two and three. And one, two plus three equals one, two, three. And this also holds when we're looking at one and two. When we had just the empty set and one, but after we added in the two, two plus the empty set equals two and two plus one equals one and two. And this is what we're going to do to form our power sets. We're going to read in whatever output we had before each additional number. Take that, add in our additional number, and add that as a whole to our output. Now, before we go ahead and code this up, let's just think about time and space complexities. For each additional number in our nums, what's happening to our output? It's doubling each time. We go from one having two outputs to two having four outputs 
to a length of three having eight outputs. So this is just a power of two. So this is gonna be two to the n for space. And for time complexity, each time that we add another number, we now want to read in whatever we had before. And for all of those we had before, add in this new number. And the next time we add in another number, we're now gonna have to read in this new doubled array. So our time complexity is also gonna be two to the n. Now let's just go ahead and code this up. So I'm gonna have an output equal to the empty subset. And for i in nums, I'm just gonna add on to my output lst plus i for list in output. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking all the lists that I've seen so far in output, adding in this current number I'm reading, and just adding that all of that back into output. So I return output run code. Accepted and submit. And it is accepted. So let me know if you have any questions, comment below. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.